and I have New Zealand's most prominent drag king, Hugo Girl. Good morning to you. Good morning, Aziz. How you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you doing? I am freezing uh, <laughs> something off. I want to talk to you uh, about being a drag king. For people who don't know what a drag king is, what is a drag king? That is a bloody good question. So I think a lot of people know what a drag queen is. We see that a lot in popular culture. So uh, a drag king is, instead of representing a flamboyant version of femininity like a queen might sort of goes the more masculine direction but also drag these days is a build your own adventure we have people dressing up as monsters and genderless creatures and it's just dress up for grown-ups we see naked women in the overwhelming majority of mainstream media usually they are not exactly reading uh, in fact usually they are portrayed in extremely exploitative and patriarchal contexts. and i think from this we get the idea that nudity is inherently anti-feminist and to that we say, fuck you, shake our titties and go on with our body positive little lives. In the 1800s, in England, this thing, this art form popped up and it was called a burlesque. And it was a piss take of established theatre. So at the fancy theatre, you would have the fancy actors in their fancy costumes going, ho, ho, ho. Down the road, you would have the burlesque performance of the same play. They were taking the piss of it. So at the pub, you could go down and get slaughtered and watch actors play the same parts and make fun of local politicians and be bawdy and disgusting and gross and it was radical and beautiful. And as part of those productions, there was always female striptease. <laughs> So you would have some beautiful local dame dressing up as the leading lady, dressing up as the queen, except she was going, ah, I want to see my tits, fuck the system, yes. <laughs> it was underground, it was risque, it was radical. So I have, I have a theory, my friends. I have a hypothesis, if you will, that our little soiree this evening is not so much a piss steak of burlesque, but the most earnest homage to its radical roots we know how to do. What do you reckon? <laughs> It is taking so very long. Oh, why won't they grow faster? Oh, I wonder if there's something I can do to help my plants to grow. Does anyone here know what else my plants might need to grow? Well, I'm gonna make them toasty warm. Yes, this is a great idea. Do you know what, everyone? I've got a great idea. I'm gonna give them a tasty snack. Does anyone have any peanuts? Any popcorn? Oh, oh. oh, hang on, we got one more round of this whole bit to go. If you could just hold for, just hold for 30 seconds. You're absolutely right, you're absolutely right. You're doing great. Okay, okay, one more time. What else do my plants need to grow? No way. Oh my goodness, well why didn't you say that earlier?